Hello and thank you for joining us. This is Keeping It Local, where we bring you local stories you won't find anywhere else. I'm Keith Kohanic. With the push for Texas Tech to become a national research university comes the push for tech graduates to be more active in their education. There's research, internships, and class projects that allow students to take their lessons and apply them in the real world. Students and professors from Tech's College of Architecture work to design this sustainable cabin. Working closely with the College of Visual and Performing Arts and the College of Engineering, the students took their education to the next level and learned many valuable lessons. It's not so much about the product, and that's what we're all here sitting in is seeing a product, but really the most important thing that happened here was there was a process, and that process involved the interaction between a lot of different people. Um, that had to learn to work very closely together to make something happen. It took more than 75 people and nearly three years to complete. But in summer 2010, the cabin was moved to its permanent home in Cruel, Texas. It is frequently visited by tech students and many of its features are part of ongoing research. It's a project that has proven to be invaluable to at least one architecture student. I just know in myself when I'm able to actually see the process and speak to the people and get and get an understanding of how things are put together you you um, are able to perform better in classes and be able to put that in there the goal of the sustainable cabins is more than to provide students with hands-on experience in their education it's also trying to teach them how to conserve our resources sustainable design one of the best definitions i've heard is that we do and we build things that we can use today that do not adversely affect future generations. In other words, we're not creating an energy, uh, uh, an energy demand that will be a burden or unsustainable in the future. The cabin gets all its energy from eight solar panels. The energy they collect is enough to run lights, a small kitchen, a fan, and a few outlets. But what it's lacking in modern luxuries, it makes up for in design. There's no, there's no cooling system, so it's designed that you open up the windows and the doors and the wind blows through. The wind cools you during the summer and a wood-burning fireplace keeps you warm during the winter. Non-drinking water is collected and stored from the roof. The cabin has a net zero energy consumption thanks to its recycled elements and sustainable features. But the environment isn't the only beneficiary of the cabin's design. I think one element of sustainability I see is just the sustainability of the education. I mean every semester New groups of students come out here and experience this and learn how this was all put together and how it works and, and back to the first hand experiences. That's so much more powerful and we will remember that, you know, for the rest of our architectural careers and lives. Thanks, Keith. That cabin looks like it would be a pretty nice place to stay. And I like that it was built with sustainable materials. For more about Tech's Sustainable Cabin, visit our new website, kttz.org. There, you can also find links to our new Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube pages. For Keeping It Local and Channel 5, I'm Sophia Hallbrook. Thanks for watching.